welcome to the Rip Puzzle channel. Today I will be showing you step-by-step -step instructions on how to put together the B Puzzle's original 3D crystal puzzle, the Pink Diamond. This is a level 1 puzzle. It has 41 pieces, not including the stand or the key. Um, unfortunately, this puzzle does not have any numbers on the pieces, so I will be showing you each piece, the front and the back, doing a little description of each piece. You will be able to follow along the step number will be displayed right there and hopefully we will be able to get the puzzle together for you this should work for any of the gem puzzles so the sapphire emerald the normal diamond etc it should work for them as well so let's get started okay first step is going to be the base it is these two clear pieces you're just going to slide it into place, set that aside. Step number two will be this piece. It has two going in, and part of the diamond on the outside. The second piece is going to be this piece. It has two going out on one side. You can see that it has some lines in the inside for the screw at for the end of the pole. You flip it over. It has two going out again with the side facing upward. It's going to connect at the top just like that. Next piece this is this piece. It has two going out. You flip it over, it has one going in. With this side facing downward, it is going to connect to the right side. The fifth step is going to be this piece right here. It has one going in. The angle right here, you flip it over, it has two going in, right there and there. With the side facing upward, it's going to connect on the left side. Next up is this piece. It has an angle right here going down, one going out, one going in. You flip it over, it has one going in, one going out, with the side facing upward, it's going to connect to the left, okay, next piece is going to be this piece, it has one going in, one going out, flip it over, so one going out, one going in, and a slant right there. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect right here in the bottom. Okay, step number eight is going to be this piece. It has one going in, one going out. You flip it over. It has an angle down here. One going out, one going in. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect to the right. Step number nine is going to be this piece. This piece has one going out one going in and a slight angle going downward right here. You flip it over as one going in and one going out. With the side facing upward it's going to connect right there at the top. Step number 10 
is going to be this piece. It has two going in. You flip it over. It has an angle going downward right here. There's one going out and one going in. With the side facing downward, it's going to connect at the top. Step 11. This piece has one going out, one going in, and angle down here. You flip it over, so one going out, and one going in. With this side facing upward, it's going to connect right there. Next step, step number 12. This piece has a slant right there going downward. This is one going in and one going out. You flip it over. It has two going out. That side facing upward. It's going to connect on the left side. Step number 13, this piece has two going in, you flip it over, it has two going out, and the slant going downward right here, With this side facing downward, it's going to connect to the right. Step number 14, this piece has one going out. One going in with a slant right here. You flip it over. It's going to have two going in. This side facing upward, it's going to connect right there. Step 15 is going to be this piece. It has one going in, one going out. You flip it over has an angle down here, one going out and one going in. With the side facing downward, it's going to connect right here. Step number 16, this piece has slant going downward right here, one going out, one going in. The hole in the middle for the pole goes. Flip it over. It has two going in. This side facing upward, it's going to connect at the top. Step number 17 it has one going out, one going in. You flip it over. It has a slight angle going downward right there. And two going out with this side facing downward. It's going to connect to the right. Okay, next step is step 18. It'll be this piece. A slight angle going down right there. And two going out. You flip it over as one going in one going out with the side facing upward it's going to connect on the left side and step number 19 is this piece it has two going out you flip it over it has two going in with the hole in the middle, or partial hole for where the pole goes in the middle. With this side facing upward, it's going to connect at the top. Step number 20 is this piece right here. It has two going in, the slant going downward right here. Flip it over, it has one going in, one going out. With the side facing upward, it's going to connect right there at the bottom. Step 21. 
this piece. There's two going out. A very slight slant at the corner here. Flip it over. There's one going out, one going in. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect right here on the right. And step 22 is going to be this piece. It has two going out. You flip it over. It has one going out, one going in. And this one is going to go on the left side. Just like that. And step 23 is this piece. It has two going out. A hole in the middle for where the pole goes. You flip it over. It has two going in. And this piece will be going face down at the top. Step 24 is going to be this piece. It has two going in with a slant right there. You flip it over. It has one going in and one going out. With the side facing downward, it's going to connect right here. Step 25. This piece has two going out. A slight angle right there. You flip it over. Has one going out and one going in. With the side facing downward, it's going to connect to the left side. And step 26. There's two going out, with a slight slant right there. Turn it over, has one going in, one going out. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect to the right. Step 27. This piece has slant right here, going downward. So one going out, one going in. You flip it over, so one going in one going out with this side facing downward it is going to connect at the bottom step number 28 this piece has one going out one going in and it has an angle right here you flip it over, it has two going in. With this side facing downward, it is going to connect right here on the left side. And step number 29 is this piece. It has a partial hole for where the pole goes through right here. It's one going out and one going in. You flip it over, it has two going in. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect at the top. Step number 30 is this piece. It has two going out. We flip it over, it has an angle right here. So one going in, one going out. With this side facing upward, it's going to connect to the right. Step 31 is this piece. It has two going in. You flip it over. It has two going out with an angle right here. With this side facing upward, it's going to connect to the left. Step number 32 is this piece. It has two going in. You flip it over, it has one going out, one going in, a slight hole there for where the pole goes. With this side facing upward, it's going to connect at the top. Step 33, this piece has an angle going downward right there, one going out, one going in. 
you flip it over, one going out, one going in, with this side facing downward, it's going to connect at the bottom. Okay, step 34, it's going to be this piece, one going out, one going in, and angle right there. You flip it over, it has one going in and one going out. The side facing downward, it's going to connect to the top right. Step 35 is this piece. It has one going out, one going in, and an angle right here. You flip it over, it's one going in, one going out. With the side facing downward, it's going to connect to the bottom. And step number 36 is this piece has one going out, one going in with the angle right here. You flip it over, it has a one going in, one going out. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect at the top left. Step number 37 is this piece. It has one going out, one going in with an angle right here. You flip it over, it has one going in, one going out. With the side facing downward, it's going to connect to the right side. Step number 38 this is going to be this piece. It has an angle right here with one going in. You flip it over, it has two going in with the side facing downward. It's going to connect to the bottom. Step number 39. This piece it has an angle right here. One going in. You flip it over. It has two going out. With the side facing downward, it's going to connect to the left. Step number 40 is this piece. It has two going out, a hole for the pole goes. You flip it over, it has two more going out. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect at the top. Step 41, you're going to take your pole. And this one does not have a key, you just screw it into place. Just like that. Make sure you do not over tighten the pole because it could break your puzzle. Sometimes it makes a click once it's tight enough. This is as tight as it's going to get. And the last step is step number 42 is the other end piece with the two going in and that is going to connect right there at the top and it just slides into place just like that so this is how it looks when it's finished if you have any suggestions of what I should put together next time let me know in the comment section, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching!